How to merge cell in Excel. Hello everyone, welcome to Excel 10 tutorial. In this intermediate Excel tutorial, I'm going to talk about merging cells in Microsoft Excel. Let's get started. Take a look at this report here. In the first cell, we have cells report. Okay. Our title is in cell A1. I want to merge all these cells. Okay. To merge this cell, I have to select it and then click on the home tab. And here in the alignment section, we have merge and center. I can click here or let's click on this drop down. If I click on this merge cell option, the third option, okay, all the cells will be merged just like we have done here. When you merge cell, there are several things happens. Here we have selected merge cell and our text is right where it was before. Number two, if I click here, all these six cells become one cell. You can see in the name box, we have A1. Okay. If I click on cell B1, there is no cell B, C or D, E, F1. Okay. And our cell is merged. That's one way of merging cells. Now here we have a different scenario. Okay. I want to write different comments here and title should be remarks and I want it to be merged to these cells but the title should be in the center. So from the home tab click on this drop down here the first option is merge and center. If I click here we have merged our cells and our text from the left cell is now in the center. So this is merge and center and this is simple merge but the feature is same all the cell will be one cell here the cell is i3 okay now you can also merge multiple cell at once like if i select this range all these cells should be merged in one cell if i click on this drop down and click on merge cell all the rows and column has been removed from this area and become a single cell okay and there is another option here in the margin center it says merge across it will only merge all the columns okay but the rows will be intact let me show you how let's say i'm going to select this range okay and i want to remove all the columns from this range but all the rows should be intact now if i go to the home tab click on this margin center drop down and here our third option merge across and you can see in the tooltips it says merge selected cell in the same row into one large cell. So if I click here all the column is gone. Okay here you can see the column grid line is gone but the row grid line is still there. So we have merged this cell and they become individual large cell unlike this one. Okay now we need to learn how to unmerge this. Select the cell that is merged, click on this drop down and click on unmerge cell. All the rows are back. Now select the range again, unmerge. Here we have selected it and unmerge. Now let me tell you about a few drawbacks about merging cells. Let's select this range, okay? And I want to merge this cell. I have data in each cell. If I click on this drop down and click on merge, and you can see we have a pop-up. Merging cells only keeps the upper left value and discards other value. That means this order number will be the only text inside this range. Let me show you that if I click OK and you can see we have only one value which was the top left value of our selected ranges and the rest of the data is removed. Okay. Now if I unmerge it, our data is still removed. But it's a good thing we have control Z. The second problem is that if we want, we can sort and filter our data. Okay. Like this. Now let's merge this cell. Now if I try to sort this and you can see we have a pop up. To do this, all merge cell need to be the same size. Okay. So here we have a merge cell and it cannot sort our data. So when you are merging cells, the problem is that you cannot use sort and filter. If you are merging multiple cells, there is a chance of removing rest of the data from your range. And if you don't want to merge cell here, but want the same feature, there is a better option. If I right click here, 
click on format cells click on alignment and text alignment horizontal drop down if i select this one center across selection and if i click ok and you can see it looks like we have a mar cell but if i click here we have cell a1 b1 c1 all the cells are intact our data looks like it's merged and it's also centered and if i click on cell a1 our data is still in cell a1 it's not in cell c1 it's in cell a1 so the formatting is correct or everything is just like before but it looks like we have merged our cell so i think this is a better solution because merging cell has several drawbacks that merge across does not this is what i wanted to show you thank you thanks for watching see you in the next tutorial if you can support the channel through patreon and don't forget to subscribe thank you thanks for watching